Pablo Picasso's painting, The Old Guitarist, contains not one, but two secret images underneath. Degas' portrait of a woman was originally a portrait of a different woman. These are some of the artifacts discovered in paintings by using X-ray. X-rays were discovered by accident by a German professor, Willem Conrad Röntgen. In 1895, Röntgen was experimenting with the conduction of electricity through low-pressure gases using a cathode ray tube and discovered a mysterious ray lighting up a fluorescent screen a few meters away. His later experiments showed that this radiation could penetrate soft tissues but not the bone and would produce a shadow image on the photographic plates. Röntgen won the very first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. Röntgen named his discovery X Strahlen, Strahlen meaning ray in German and X being used in mathematics to indicate an unknown quantity. One of his first x-rays, if not the first, was of his wife's hand with the wedding ring on her finger. She exclaimed, I have seen my death, after looking at it for the first time. People used to think x-rays were harmless. In the early days, people thought x-rays were harmless to the body. X-rays started to appear at carnivals and theatrical shows as a curiosity. It wasn't until Thomas Edison's assistant, Clarence Daly, who had worked extensively with x-rays, died of skin cancer in 1904 that people started taking the health concerns about this new technology. X-rays were almost immediately used after the discovery. Within weeks of x-ray discovery, European surgeons were using x-rays to find bullets and other foreign substances in human bodies. One of the earliest diagnoses was by a British doctor who found a needle embedded in a woman's hand. X-ray revolutionized diagnosis of tuberculosis. Before the advent of antibiotics, the only cure to this disease was to rest at home. Therefore, early detection was very important. The traditional method of diagnosis was to listen to chest sounds, which could sometimes be difficult to diagnose accurately. X-rays allowed doctors to see the characteristic shadows and spots on the lungs caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria. X-rays allowed scientists to see the double helix shape of the DNA. In the early 1950s, a British researcher named Rosalind Franklin took the first X-ray photos that showed DNA's structure. X-rays bounce off the three-dimensional pattern of atoms within a crystal lattice and form a shadow image of its structure. Unfortunately, she died of ovarian cancer in 1958, four years before the Nobel Prize was awarded to James Watson and Francis Crick for discovering the shape of DNA. X-rays have also been used to study priceless artifacts like the Egyptian mummies without damaging them. X-ray scans of ancient Egyptian mummies, known as Hawara Portrait Mummy No. 4, revealed a surprising discovery. This Egyptian mummy was decorated with a woman's portrait. However, it contained the body of a child who was only five years old when she died. X-ray scans of the mummy's teeth and femur confirmed the girl's age. Here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know that diamonds don't show up on medical X-rays? In a television show called Mythbusters, a female radiographer who accidentally x-rayed her hand only to discover that her diamond engagement ring was a fake. Diamonds appear radiolucent, meaning transparent to x-rays. That's because they are usually small and are composed of carbon. Carbon has an atomic number of 6 and attenuates x-rays to a much lesser degree than elements with higher atomic number. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.